Hello everyone, I'm Jessica Blackbird. Welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. And once you're done listening, leave a comment. Thank you. Well, Omaha makes social headlines tonight, not in a good way. Police confirmed someone vandalized one of Machine Gun Kelly's tour buses. It was outside the Farnham Hotel this morning when someone spray painted a homophobic slur on it. He is performing right now at the CHI Health Center Arena. If you saw anything that might help police in this case, call Crime Stoppers 402-444-STOP. Omaha police investigate vandalism to Machine Gun Kelly's tour bus. Omaha police confirmed vandals hit one of Machine, Ke Machine Gun Kelly's tour buses during his visit to the Metro Thursday. OPD says the vandalism was first reported around 9.30 a.m. to the Farnham Hotel. A post on social media appears to show a homophobic slur spray painted along one side of the tour bus. Mas Machine Gun Kelly performed at CHI Health Center Arena Thursday night with special guest Willow. So... According to the Daily Mail, Machine Gun Kelly responds to one of his tour buses being vandalized with homophobic, homophobic graffiti in Nebraska. Wrong bus, you effing idiot. Machine Gun Kelly addressed a vandal who spray painted homophobic graffiti on one of his tour buses in a series of Instagram stories. The Rocker 32 is currently on tour in Omaha, Nebraska, and woke up on Thursday morning to one of his buses being defaced on both sides, with one side reading Rap Devil F, and the other having an image of an e ejaculating PP. okay? However, while addressing the situation, Megan Fox's fiance revealed it wasn't his personal bus that got vandalized. You're so dumb. You spray painted a bus thinking it was my bus. Wrong bus, you effing idiot. Wow. Do the first part of the crime right, the musician born Colson Baker added. Wow, you guys, this is crazy. <laughs> He continued to make light of the situation, saying, you could have been at home cuddling with your partner or doing something, and instead you were like, God damn it, I just wish he would go up to his hotel room so I can spray paint this penis. They washed it off before I even saw it. Aren't you sad? I'm still in bed. I didn't even get to enjoy it. You just, you suck he said as he wrapped up the video. A video shot by Jody Petrin shows the yellow paint graffiti featured on both sides of the bus. And of course I cannot put the uh, photos because of YouTube. A night prior to the incident, Machine Gun Kelly posted a quick clip of his colorful vehicles which featured a pink, red, blue, yellow, and green buses with the caption taking the power rangers to omaha kelly is currently on his mainstream sellout tour in support of his album of the same name which kicked things off june 8th at the moody center in austin texas and his tour has certainly had its fair share of issues a fan fainted in the crowd during his opener willow smith set on Tuesday in Pittsburgh, and MGK was groped by a fan during a show at the Moda Center in Portland, Oregon last month. There's like a really bad thing that happens to not just females, but a lot of male artists. Um, I remember when uh, Tim McGraw was groped by someone in his audience and his wife, Faith Hill, she came out with a vengeance. She was so pissed off. She addressed it. And um, there was a rapper by, I can't remember his name. Uh, shoots. Anyway, he was groped. And this guy had been 
severely, uh, S-E-X-U-A-L-L-Y, abused as a child. And so when this woman, I saw the video, but I can't remember his name. Um, she grabbed him and she squeezed and his foot came up and he kicked her. And it was in the media for days and days. They were trying to get this guy arrested. And, you know, it was a natural, in my opinion, it was a natural um, reaction based on what happened to him when he was a child. So she got kicked. And in my opinion, she deserved it. You don't go grabbing on people. All right, back to the article. The Paper Cuts artist also made headlines following an incident in June at the New York City venue Catch when he struck his own face with a champagne glass. According to page six, MGK said, I don't give a F bro, I don't give a S, as his forehead bled after making contact with the broken glass. You guys, he probably said he doesn't give an F about bleeding because he and Megan actually drink one another's blood. They've said it in interviews. MGK had just performed a sold out at Madison Square Garden and commenced with an impromptu performance of the track, My Ex's Best Friend at the Restaurant, a source told the outlet. MGK declined bandages offered to him by the venue and sang with the blood dripping down, the source said. He was probably saving that for uh, Megan. <laughs> anyway, you guys, it seems like he's having a hell of a tour, right? Anyway, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'll see you in the comment section. Thank you.